Wes Carter, how are you doing? I'm well, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I am feeling, I'm feeling funky, I'm feeling fresh, I'm feeling like I have a, an opportunity to connect with a legal eagle. Lucky you. Okay, now here we go. We're, we're talking about the steps you need to take to ensure that you're abiding by all state and federal regulations. Now that's a broad, broad topic, but we had a thriver who wants to know the steps they can take to make sure they're abiding by these state and federal regulations. Okay. But before we hop into it, all the thrivers want to know, all the kids want to know, all the adults want to know, the men, the women, all the, all the Samoans, all the Puerto Ricans, people in Canada, they all want to know, are you related to the NBA basketball player, the guy who he first played at North Carolina, then he went on to play in the NBA, Vince Carter? I don't think so. Okay, um, that's uh, that's uh, interesting. Okay, so I'll have to look that one up. Well, now, now, okay, now that we have that huge legal risk out of the way, okay. um, Wes, what are the basic steps that the, the, this thriver, in particular, and all the thrivers can take to make sure that they are abiding by all the state, all of the state and federal regulations? It would be quite an accomplishment to abide by all of the state and federal regulations. Rick, can you repeat that again? It would be quite the accomplishment to be able to abide by all of the regulations that are on the books. Um, you can do your best, you strive for perfection, um, but you know, chances are within your first five years, you're gonna break about 100 regulations. 